there's an old quote which I'm probably going to bungle, um, and it, I think it's by Voltaire, but I may be wrong. But uh, it goes essentially like this: the essential difference between a European and an Asiatic is that the European has no idea what to do with himself when sitting alone in an empty room. Hmm. And, of course, the implication is that the Asiatic is perfectly contented to do that. Uh, again, goes back to my friend up there. He's, he's exactly where he wants to be. He's just sitting there. That's it. That's as far as <laughs> his non-desires go. He's stripped himself of all of that, or shed himself of all of that. Which cuts to the very core of the argument of um, the somewhat nihilistic or negative question open question, what, what does all this mean? What's it here for? What, what, what can we expect out of this? Um, it's kind of a hackneyed and cliched phrase that you, wear, you are where you want to be at all times, but I think that the Western mind seems to think in our linear conception of time that we are in one place and we're going to get to somewhere else. <clears throat> Whereas not all societies throughout human history have actually seen things that way. Um, I live in a city where there's an awful lot of uh, Aboriginal Canadians. And I've said, and I'm not afraid to take heat for having said this, if I'm going to generalize about somebody else, especially a, an oppressed minority. Um, I've lived among them all my life. Um, I actually have lived among them. Um, and I've also traveled the world, and I've never seen any people that I thought I had less in common with, but got along with better, than these people that I am, am actually intimately familiar with. Because if I wanted to say this, uh, the essential difference between myself and an Aboriginal Canadian, uh, and I'm talking a real Aboriginal Canadian, not, not just an assimilated person that's grown up here in, uh, in the urban part of Canada, but a real Aboriginal Canadian right off the reserve or from the the nation up north or wherever, has that capacity to just sit and be. There, I'm, I know I'm going to take heat for this, I don't care, but um, it's a, it is an observation that I've made. What you do out there in the world is what you have to do, but ideally, where you want to be is right here. Um, the world is nothing but a series of distractions. The world, as I say, just is. It's just something to be coped with. There's no meaning in it whatsoever. Any meaning is what we put on it. Now try and get my stereotypical um, kind of backwoods Aboriginal Canadian to say that. He won't put it into so many words. But go and interact with them in their own homes. Um, you can actually see it in action where they'll just sit there on the sofa of their house drink coffee, smoke cigarettes, whatever, and just be. Western people can't do that, or a lot of Western people can't do that, or the people that actually do do it get denounced as white trash or layabouts or whatever. <clears throat> um, purpose is a tricky thing, because purpose, goal, meaning, etc. is fine, Provided you don't think that it's something external to yourself, external to what, um, to your actual being. That's why you have this endless um, sort of hamster-on-a-treadmill kind of dynamism built into the Western way of doing things. We're all going somewhere. We have no idea where we're going. We're just doing it now because it's that's just the cultural sort of furrow that we've all fallen into. We've got to be headed somewhere. Um, east is east and west is west? I don't know. I don't think that it's really a question of east and west anymore because the, west, the east is going exactly that way as well. But I think we're always going to have people who will say that um, in a non-negative kind of way that there's really no point in going out there and chasing after things that aren't going to give your life any meaning anywhere, anyway, rather, well, anywhere, any when, whatever. Meaning, purpose, goals, accomplishments, um, a value, is all here. Um, again, this flies right in the face of Western thinking, 
especially current here in North America, where you're always supposed to be doing something. The worst thing you could possibly do is to get up and sit on the couch and drink coffee and smoke cigarettes and only have a few words to say to all the people that you or whoever you happen to share your dwelling with over the course of your day. To some people this comes naturally. And I honestly think that sometimes when I see an Aboriginal Canadian here in the city who is obviously kind of a fish out of water, I think that they look up at all the skyscrapers and <clears throat> They look up at, uh, or they see us rushing around everywhere and looking at our watches. I do that as much as anybody, by the way. I'm not trying to be condescending to other people, in spite of what some people might think. But I often think that, that said Aboriginal simply looks at it all and goes, I wonder why they do all of this. Not in a, in a, <clears throat> in a, um, a dismissive kind of way, but in, in a sort of a state of wonder. The same wonder that we get when you see, or if you get a chance to see, <clears throat> um, an Aboriginal Canadian sitting in his living room, smoking cigarettes, drinking coffee, and saying a few words every 30 minutes or something, we'd be, we're just as mystified by their capacity and preference for doing that as they are by our capacity and preference for chasing carrots on sticks. <clears throat> Goals, purpose, meaning, everything. It's what you want it to be. It's ultimately inside yourself. It's only when you chase the goals that you don't actually want that you become like Richard Corey and go home at night and put a bullet through your head. Make sure that you actually want the things that you're chasing. And if you don't want anything, don't chase them. Easier said than done, but I think that it needs reminding every once in a while in uh, Western civilization. Purpose is, uh, to people who I think have a supremely negative view of reality itself, who say this is just nothing but a pointless treadmill where we're just endlessly, wearily, uh, with Sisyphean repetitiveness, pushing a rock up the hill, it rolls down, we go down, we push it up again. The problem is, why don't you just leave the rock at the bottom? <laughs> don't push it up the hill. Thank you.